at the moment, I, I think rugby can be boring at professional level. So few errors, the coaches might not say that, but I think there are so few errors, it becomes routine. Out here at Riverside, watching Jed, I mean, you really need your pacemaker charged up because you get lots of error. And club rugby excites and it's spontaneous. Gary was like a, you know, was like a prize boxer. He was just had this raw, raw strength. But I always felt with Gary Armstrong, this guy doesn't make mistakes. He is so safe, so secure. If there, you know, he, he knows instinctively which way to turn to get away from the opposition. And of course, he tackled like the clap of doom. He was roomed with Franz Ten Boss, the big South African lock, who I think Hugh thought Franz needs a wee bit boot up his bottom just to get him going, you know. So the SRU, in their wisdom, roomed him with Hugh McLeod the night before the international. And Franz Ten Boss was scared of his wits. He didn't know what McLeod was saying, of course. <laughs> Very high, broad hike accent. And it was just one of these things. And evidently he had a very good game the day after because he knew he would have to face his, his prop forward mentor if he didn't. And he turned to the East Stand crowd and he beat his jersey with his fist with a thistle on it. I thought, that's my boy. Go on, son. I'm going to say I would play Gary at scrum half, I'd play Greg at standoff, and I'd play Roy at inside centre, and they could change over whenever they bloom and well like because they can play all three positions. <laughs>